In the last video, we graphed tangent and cotangent. In this video, we'll graph secant and cosecant. These ratios also have sine and cosine in their denominator, so they'll each have vertical asymptotes at angles where these values are zero. And that's where we'll start. Secant equals one over cosine, so secant is undefined at these angles. Secant has the same asymptotes as tangent because both denominators are cosine. At angles where the cosine is one, secant is one because one divided by one is one. And at angles where cosine is negative one, secant is also negative one because one divided by negative one is negative one. So secant touches the cosine graph at its peaks and valleys. I chose purple as the memory aid color for secant because cosine is blue. Cosine and secant are reciprocals, and purple seems like a special kind of blue, maybe. The memory aid color for cosecant is pink because of its reciprocal relationship to the red sine function, and pink seems like a special kind of red. For secant, we have an asymptote at pi over two radians. So let's imagine an acute angle, so quadrant one, approaching pi over two. The cosine will get smaller and smaller, so the secant will get larger and larger. Arrow here. And on the other side of pi over two, in quadrant two, the cosine is negative and gets very, very tiny as theta approaches pi over two. So down arrow here. Let's look at the next asymptote, three pi over two. In quadrant three, the cosine is negative, but gets very tiny as we approach the asymptote. So cosecant, the reciprocal, is very, very large, arrow down. And on the other side of the asymptote, tiny again, but positive, so up arrow here. This up, down, down, up pattern at the asymptotes continues in the positive and negative directions. Let's look at the pi over four angles midway between the quadrantal angles. At pi over four, the cosine is square root of two over two, whose reciprocal is about 1.4. The secant of all pi over four angles will be either positive 1.4 or negative 1.4, depending on the quadrant as shown. And the secant function ends up looking like this. The relationship with cosine is evident. It touches cosine where it's one and negative one, then arcs away in either direction as cosine approaches zero. At angles where the cosine is zero, the secant is undefined. Plotting the cosecant function is a little anticlimactic since it has the exact same relationship with sine. Start with the asymptotes, which are where sine equals zero. Plot the sine equals one and negative one points at the other quadrantal angles. Plot the cosecant at the pi over four angles. Again, it will be plus or minus 1.4 since the sine of these angles is either square root of two over two or negative square root of two over two. Then draw the curve between the asymptotes. You should be able to graph all six trig functions. Start with a neat coordinate axis, sketch the asymptotes, except for sine and cosine since they don't have asymptotes, plot some key points, and make your sketch. In the next video, TR-21, I'll cover the domain and range of the trig functions.